Voluntary organization Moonlight Development Society has introduced an innovative new personal rape alarm to protect Rohingya women from UAL abuse at Chak Markul's Karandoli refugee camp in Technif Cox's Bazaar. Moonlight Development Society's Anik Mahmood told the Dhaka Tribune that 175 women and girls aged from 1225 at the camp had received the electronic device since distribution began on November 21, with 300 more to be dispensed in the near future. He added that the devices may be distributed to other camps as well once completed at Karantoli. The rape alarm is a small, handheld electronic device that emits a loud siren when activated, with the aim of attracting help from passers-by in case of a UAL assault. Also read no Rohingya woman safe as rapists run rampant the alarm can be triggered with either the press of a button or by pulling a tag. The device also includes a built-in torch light, and can run for three months at a stretch before needing a replacement battery. When we started working here on ground, we found a number of families where only one girl survived the massacre in Myanmar and managed to flee to the camps here in Bangladesh. Anik said, These girls are vulnerable in many aspects, with little support as they are lone survivors. To do something for them, we came up with the idea for a tool that s an alarm once the victim presses a button, Saleya Cotton, a Rohingya woman from Mangdaz Mangnipara sheltering at Karantoli, said receiving the alarm had removed a constant fear of UAL abuse that had plagued her whenever she previously tried to move across the congested camp at night. Another taking shelter at the camp, Rahila Begum, said the device not only made her feel safe but was even more important for her three adolescent daughters. Also read the UNHCR 26,000 Rohingya refugee families led by women. Furthermore, her daughter Shahida said that while some insidious men used to stalk her and her sisters in the camp previously, the alarm now ensured that fear of getting caught kept the potential harassers away. Moonlight Development Society Medical Assistance Manager Marufa Money said, We have trained the people in the camps on how to respond when they hear the siren, and we need more such devices to help young girls thought to be most vulnerable in the camps. We started distributing the device in Karantoli and hope to launch the program at Q2 Belong in Yukia when we can manage more devices, she added. Moonlight Development Society is a non-profit organization founded and funded by a number of enthusiastic youths from Bogra.